lineup we have there, ladies and gentlemen, are blues clusters. And we're going to talk for a minute about using blues clusters in Strad Piano or how they were used in some of the Strad Piano literature. Uh, with a blues cluster, you want to add a blues tone to a, a major chord or a chord of a sixth or some chord that does not already contain a blues tone and either hit it solid with the chord or else use it to slide onto the chord or as a grace note onto the chord. And I'll show you uh, in James P. Johnson's Mule Walk uh, in the right hand, the introduction is and you notice how you use a grace note from the fourth finger to the octave, to the A to the octave B flat, but not slides right onto there and you hold that uh, so that you get the full effect uh, of the blues tone. And then immediately following you have the main melody. Uh, here's the key thing here. He could go But by putting this uh, C sharp in here with the C to the F, uh, he, you've got a, uh, uh, a perfect fourth uh, with a raised note all happening at the same time to create a chord uh, that you're never going to find on any chord chart in the back of a fake book. But it's what we call a blues cluster. And of course, uh, features like this, uh, you, you, we've been hearing in jazz uh, for the last 70 or 80 years in, uh, in everything from, uh, from bebop to mainstream to uh, fusion to funky jazz, uh, but it really started developing in the stride piano era of the uh, 20s and 30s. Uh, another example would be uh, sliding from a, uh, a black note to a white note um, onto a chord that might be a kind of a, um, a bland chord, like a chord of a sixth with a ninth here. Sounds almost Hawaiian in its uh, uh, harmony. Uh, but if you take right here between one and two, you take this B flat and slide onto it. That's an excerpt from James P. Johnson's Carolina Shout, where he could go. Instead he goes. Uh, and uh, another example that we have is uh, Fats Waller's introduction, the slow part of the Viper's Drag, where he goes. Instead of just playing the uh, uh, the D minor chord um, here in the right hand after each one of these bass notes, let's slide onto that D minor chord uh, from the G sharp to the A every time we hit that chord. that's going to lead to the A7 to get back to the D minor. Uh, and what I did here was to create uh, an E minor chord with a flatted fifth, one, three, five, and then use a, um, a blues note right with that flatted fifth. a few little examples of how you can use different types of blues clusters uh, to uh, to give your chord in your stride piano piece a little bite.